good morning to you my darlings it is friday morning i'm feeling very glamorous now having just curled my hair and popped some makeup on because we've got a shoot day at the house today with reuben he's still here if you watched to the end of the last vlog it is the continuation so as you'll have just seen fantastic start to the day with pilates and a world swim down at cornbury park uh the other side of chipping norton it's always just the most invigorating and lovely way to start the day. Now that I'm all into my grounding, it's even better because I understand and appreciate the connection with the earth. Gosh, I feel like I've become so, um, don't know the word for it. Like, I think I said last vlog, earth mothery, <laughs> but it just makes me feel good and it's not hurting anyone. So I'll continue with my bonkers little obsessions. So my jumper is actually making me feel very jolly this morning and Charlie has already complimented it, says I've souped yellow. <laughs> um, I don't wear it enough actually, but it's a very optimistic colour and lovely neckline. I'll leave it linked down below, it is from Hobbs and it's so comfortable. I need to find a few different ways of styling it. I've just got it on with a pair of jeans today, which um, I'm trying to get more wear out of. But yeah, so we're doing a few hours of shooting with Reuben. Um, and then we have got a nice evening this evening at uh, the Cotswold Guys, new place in Chipping Norton. He is very famous for his sausage rolls and we've actually not been to any of his cafes yet. So that should be good fun. But first, it's time to shoot. Right, so we have got a very professional setting setting up in here again. And Reuben's back. Hello. Hello. He's on his best <laughs> behaviour today. I'm trying my hardest not to be a freak. <laughs> Thank Everybody loves it, darling. You're the most popular person on my YouTube channel. I don't know about that. I think, I think so. Dickens takes first place. Uh, so. To be fair, he does. He does. He does. But Rubes has set up the most realistic sunlight in the entire world. You'd almost think it was sunny outside. Mm. Alas, it is not. And um, by popular demand, we are shooting at the seed cracker recipe, which is the simplest thing in the entire world and seriously yummy. I just had some with my omelette this morning. So without further ado, let's shoot. A shoot day always means a photogenic lunch because why not? We've got um, radicchio with something fishy and something shiny. We've got the seed bread that we just made, Dons la Aga. Something colourful, something fishy. The uh, sage and walnut pesto pasta that I made yesterday. Putting to good use my new little cloches. And then a nice, is it muftool or is it bulgur wheat? Uh, the prior of the previous. Maftul. Yummy. Okay. And a nice bit okay. of foliage. Right. See, oh. sometimes I can't decide if I want to be in my bed or not in my bed. So, I like to choose the best of both worlds. I like the best of both worlds. You can call me Hannah Montana if you like. Oh, you are so handsome, my boy. And so scruffy. <laughs> I adore you. Okay, my darlings, it is now about 2 p.m. Reuben, no, it's like 3 p.m. <laughs> Reuben left at 2 p.m. Reuben had to dash um, to get to the ferry. He lives on the Isle of Wight, and there, if he didn't catch the ferry that he's gone to catch, there's not another ferry for two days. <laughs> so he had to leave very promptly, but we were so productive. We got everything done, everything shot and more. So really great start to the uh, weekend, kind of. I've got a lot of emails to do before the weekend, but there we go. So I've actually swapped my jeans for some little shorts and I think yellow, oh, there is a spider coming from the ceiling. Oh my gosh, can you see that? There's no way you'll be able to see it. I've got a money spider <laughs> hanging from, there we go, run away, run away. That's good luck, isn't it? Oh, he's attached to me. Mental, go away. There we go. 
yeah that's meant to be good luck isn't it um what was i saying outfit of the day update i have kept on the fabulous hobbs jumper and i've swapped the jeans out for this little pair of white shorts and i really love how this looks it is starting to get brighter outside we had a little rainstorm we had a little cloud moment but it's getting brighter I'm going to go and do some work outside and I just love yellow and white as a combination. Can't get over how much I love this jumper. So gorgeous, it's so comfortable and I think it's going to be a favourite piece. Something else that was in my order from Hobbs is this. I took this with me this morning to the Wild Swim. One of the ladies thought it was Hermes. She was like, wow, you got the Hermes um, straw bag. I was like, no, no, it is Hobbs. I think it is just absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to take this with me to Ibiza next week as well. Oh, do you know what? It's just one of those things. I love a beach bag. I love a straw bag. I love raffia. I love rattan, as you guys know. And this is so classic with the big leather. It's actually a pocket. Not sure that I'd pop anything in there, but it is a pocket. And I love the big leather H logo with the contrast white stitching. I think it's so elegant. And inside, I mean, the qu <laughs> The contents of this bag is actually hilarious. Um, you've got a little zippy pocket in the lining. Would you like to see what's in my handbag on a shoot day? <laughs> this is so random. It's a mixture of stuff from the shoot and um, blogger mail. This is going to be the most random what's in my handbag ever. Ginormous hairspray because when you're shooting outside and you want curls to last, you need a little bit of hairspray. I have got my little tripod because the camera that I'm vlogging on now, I'm trying not to use random things as a tripod. I probably have used the hairspray at some point this morning as a tripod, but this is the one that I use most regularly or should use. It bends in every direction. You can actually clamp it onto things because these little legs are flexible. I have got a few of these dotted around the house. They are from Amazon. I'll leave them linked down below and you can always find things like that in my Amazon shop. I've also got a bottle of nail polish remover in here because um, I had to remove my gel nails because they were looking so scruffy. I have since replenished my nails with the new OPI. Um, they basically have a new nail serum, which is very good for repair. And then, amazing news, I'll show you the bottle in a second, Bubble Bath, which is my favourite colour from OPI and probably is going to be my wedding nail colour, OPI Bubble Bath. Um, they've now reformulated it. They have No, they haven't reformulated it. They've bought out their Nail Envy, which is the product which builds the strength in your nails in Bubble Bath colour. So you can be repairing and strengthening your nails with Bubble Bath on, which is amazing. And they've got a new serum too, which you can pop on underneath and I love it. So there we go. Next, in the most random handbag of all time, some blogger mail. This arrived while we were shooting, I just shoved it in my bag. It is from Gatineau and it's a tan accelerating lotion. Prep, boost and prolong your tan with a melanin activating complex with Narcissus bulb extract. That's the second time um, I've heard about essentially daffodil bulb being used in a skincare product. It was also in the new little Darfan oils. My jumper is the colour of a daffodil, how perfect. I will start using this from right now because we are going to Ibiza next week. Whoop, whoop. And um, anything to accelerate my tan, I love. I also have a pair of shoes in here. I don't like to go upstairs in this house in heels just because slippiness. Um, but I have been wearing these for shooting, so randomly they are in there even more randomly electric toothbrush because i thought that i wasn't going to have time this morning to brush my teeth before going to the world swim so i was like oh I'll just chuck a toothbrush in my bag and brush my teeth when i get there and take my coffee in the car but then i was like no that's weird i will brush my teeth before leaving this is how my mind works i was like oh electric toothbrush i'll grab it but don't worry i did brush my teeth before i went <laughs> This is so random. Are you guys nosy and fascinated by stuff like this? Because I would weirdly find this interesting seeing like the random stuff that someone has in their handbag. Um, then I have got another PR package, another delivery that arrived while we were shooting outside. Um, this one came from Galan. The little press release has come on, oh, World Bee Day, May the 20th. 
um, on seed paper, which I love, and I always actually plant it. I don't just like let it sit in a drawer. I do always plant my seed paper. I wonder if we can do the wedding menus on seed paper. I'm going to ask our stationer. They also sent over their Youth Watery Oil and Double R Repair and Renew Eye Serum, two products which I love, and this gorgeous little notebook, which has got gold edging. How nice is that? And this beautiful, beautiful, oh, <laughs> I just showed you an empty page. Um, beautiful. So what a gorgeous little delivery from Golan. I've got my Aborian BB creme in here. This is what I'm putting on my face pretty much every day at the moment. It is makeup skincare face cream. It's a very lightweight BB cream. Gives your skin such a glow. It's SPF 20. I wear shade Doré. And I, again, threw this in my handbag so I could just quickly whack a little bit on my face when I got Pilates. Again, I forgot. Didn't have time. Pulled up and saw lots of familiar faces, so I didn't do it. I also, for the same reason, but also did not use <laughs> the Chanel Le Beige. Gotta say, though, the um, the Beauty Pie dupe is what I actually put on my face this morning. When I got back home, I put the Beauty Pie one on because this one was in my handbag and it's just as good. So I'll leave the Beauty Pie one linked down below. I mean, this is lovely. Don't get me wrong, but the Beauty Pie, Beauty, Beauty Pie one is sensational. And this brush is the Beauty Pie brush and it's angled and it's fabulous. <laughs> what else? Um, sunglasses, no particular designer. I think these are from Andela Stories. I don't feel too bad about <laughs> throwing them in the bottom of my bag because they weren't, they weren't expensive. Not that that means you shouldn't care for them, but I'm not quite so sad if they get a little scratch as I would be if my Gucci's got a little scratch. Aveda comb, wide tooth comb, because if you have got curls in your hair like this, it's better to use a wide tooth comb than a hairbrush, because a hairbrush will <laughs> extinguish your curl. Last three items, don't worry, we're nearly done. A little slip silk hair bobble. Um, nail file because I was doing nails and I threw a beauty pie face sponge in the bag as well thinking I was going to do BB cream before Pilates but I did not so there we go now you know what has been in my gorgeous Hobbs basket bag for today <laughs> how random um also I've made an error so I told you that we were going to be going to see the Cotswold guy tonight for the park fair launch. Turns out it's on right now and it's just about to finish. I'm going to blame Charlie, but it was probably me. Someone, I don't think it was Charlie, put it in the diary for 7pm. And this is months ago, so I've always just presumed it was at 7pm because that is what time it is in my diary for. However, I just went on Instagram. And I saw on the Cotswold guy's Instagram that they were serving sausage rolls for the event. And I was like, gosh, he's early. And then I went back to the email and it clearly says 1 till 4 p.m. So by the time we got there, there'd be like 10 minutes left. So missed out on that one, which is a shame. But it means we have an evening at home, which um, I think Charlie and I do a chilled evening. So yeah, there we go. Right, I'm going to go and do a little bit more work. And then I'm going to get in the garden. And then I think this afternoon slash evening... If it does start to rain, there are black clouds coming, just as I put my shorts on. I think I might start packing for Ibiza. In case you guys wondered what our wedding is going to smell like, it is this. You'll notice I've strategically hidden a certain detail with my thumb. But this is the Joe Loves white rose and lemon leaves candle and we are going to be having lots of these dotted about on the wedding day we're also going to give these personalized candles away as little favors it is honestly the most i mean if you could capture bunny if you could capture the scent of our garden and especially our garden in um a few months time when it's our wedding then it will smell like this but we've got a few extra, so I'm going to light a few this afternoon, have them in the house so that we can get used to the smell. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And I had another very lovely delivery today as well from William Morris. They have got a new range of fabrics which are outdoor um, 
appropriate so they're very I mean they're similar to our outdoor furniture material if not sturdier they feel like they've got a really um what's the word like wipe clean coating on them beautiful patterns as you'd expect from William Morris this doesn't look too different to our William Morris uh, lampshades that we've got on our pookie lights but they're a really nice size cushion I think you can buy little accessories like this or you can buy just the fabric you'll notice that they are zip up so if you do get a little mark on them then you can unzip and wash but how nice does that look love that we could also if we wanted to get William Morris fabric um, for recovering the what do you call it the um, gosh why am I really struggling today <laughs> the cushions on our furniture we could completely recover them in William Morris but I thought that these little accent cushions for now just look absolutely gorgeous I noticed earlier that the viburnum opulus this little pom-pom item here ooh, Looks like I've got some repotting to do, thanks Charlie. This really perks up when the sun comes out and perks down <laughs> when it's gloomy. Just like me, really. So this is the combo that I've got on my nails at the moment. So the Nail Envy range is what I was trying to remember the name of, the Nail Strengthener. Um, and yeah, it now comes in the Bubble Bath shade, which is what I've got on my nails, and I'm very happy about it. But the real um, epic powerhouse for repair mode, oh, it's literally called repair mode. <laughs> I didn't even mean that but when you want to put your nails into repair mode bond building nail serum and it's one of those things it's almost like putting um like water on your nails it dries instantly so the best thing to do is pop a couple of coats of that on if you're going really hardcore you could leave your nails bare and just paint them with this a couple of times a day but if you do want your nails to look pretty while they're in repair mode then the nail envy in bubble bath that is the dream team so any fellow gardeners that often forget to wear gloves like me this is your new best friend speaking of which i need to <laughs> take my gloves into the greenhouse they've been in the house for the last few days for reasons that i do not know but charlie has just summoned me down to the cut flower area he's been on a rose buying spree so we've got lots of beautiful new david austin roses um which we are positioning and then planting over the weekend let's go and see now that is a sky that looks very full of rain i think i can feel a few little spits it's coming it's coming oh. and here we have a charlie irons in his natural habitat what you doing, darling? Planting a few more herbs. Not more chives. Well, no, that was a chive that we had in the house. So I've added that and then we've got some basil. Right. Obviously got your red basil and stuff that we're going to put in this section. Purple there. basil, mate. Purple. It is reddish purple. It's it? purple. It's fully purple. Um, and then we have rather exciting, we need to work out where we want to put them. Mm hmm I swear that Angelica's got even bigger. Yeah, they'll, they'll be coming out for sure. Um, no, they're out. The Angelica. What I mean is we're gonna get oh, removed. Well, okay. I'd like to continue sniffing them for a while. Oh yeah, they're yeah, nice we'll for cut flower. Most, we'll make the most of them while they're cut flower, and then I mm -hmm. think we'll rehome them. Yeah. We'll, we'll take them and see if we can rehome them over by the shed. Yeah. If they do well. Because I do like them as cut flower. I like them. They're just too dominant for these beds. Aren't yeah. They? So we have four types of David Austin rose. Mm -hmm. I've ordered three of each. Because we're in acceptance, aren't we? That these are cut flower beds, but we, we want them to have a lot more perennial features in there mm -hmm. we still look even with all the roses in there still going to have space for annuals yep um i've seen once this lavender does get sort of this high which is another year or so i've seen where roses over lavender look really nice mm -hmm. so that's where i've positioned these and then my idea is because there's only three like the third one on each corner nice boots mate yep <laughs> um so we've got gentle hermione which is a large shrub from david austin pretty wild eve which is also a large shrub so are you doing different colours on each side or are you going to do a mix and match? Well, we've got th well this thing is, I ordered three originally because I thought we'd put three together. 
but I'm actually thinking it would be better to do it like this. I, I would say one of each in each cluster. No, see, I think I think we need the same one. No, I don't. Yeah, because I think it, it gives that continuity. Hmm. Otherwise, it's sort of like a mix and match. And eventually, the three shrubs will grow to form almost like a hedge of rose. Whereas... <gasps> there was a girl in my school called Rose Hedges. Really? Yeah. That's Isn't that an epic she name? really have ended up on Gardner as well. Like, yeah. You know. Like, you know, there's a girl called Hazel Gardner. She's yeah. so lovely. Yeah, well, there's, there's, um, Frost. Player, his family is called Billy Twelve Trees. His family are tree searchers. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, I don't Twelve know. Trees. I mean, yeah, don't quote me if that's, if they change their names to that, but I can't imagine you change your surname no. to suit your business. Yeah. Rose Hedges. Um, then we've got what are very large shrubs, and I think these grow a lot bigger, which I was thinking could be the centerpiece in these two beds. <gasps> Gorge. Yeah. Do they even need to be in a frame though? No, but the frames give structure for now, don't mm. they? So I think it'll Look be at all my nice. peonies. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They're gonna um, be insane. The white salvies that I bought there to mirror the blue sort of purpley ones over there. The bees are already loving it. Um I do think we need to keep an eye on what's here because I want some more height there. Oh don't worry darling, there'll be height when my dahlias come in. There's no dahlias in here. Yeah but I've got a lot of dahlias in the cold frame that are going to go in there. So oh, don't you worry about it. Are these? Are they stranches? Yeah. Um, They're stranches. I don't know. Hello again, my darlings. So we're not <laughs> we're not going out tonight. Um, quite looking forward to a Friday night in actually. However, this is what I was going to wear should we have been going to the Cotswold Guy <laughs> event in Chipping Norton this evening. And I wanted still to show you the outfit because it is too good to go amiss and it's this beautiful green and white dress from Hobbs. Hobbs is such a fantastic place for event dresses, they're very elegant, wearable, I would say perfect for looking classic and timeless at all ages. I know girls much younger than me that love Hobbs, I know that my mum loves Hobbs and I know that Charlie's grandparents love Hobbs. It is one of these brands that is timeless. So if in doubt, Hobbs <laughs> should be the motto. Um, this is beautiful. To be honest, I i mean, you guys know <laughs> the kind of occasions that I would wear something like this. Any excuse for a green and white dress and I'll stick it on. But also because of the material and the fact that up here it's essentially just a blouse with a beautiful pattern, I would be tempted to wear this on more casual occasions as well. So things like even just going shopping, meeting the girlfriends, I would happily wear something like this to work if I had a work event. Um, and then if you want to casualify it, you could wear it down to the beach. You could wear it, you know, there are just so many different ways of wearing something like this. It's all about how you accessorize. I am just beyond obsessed <laughs> with this bag. I really hope this is still in stock. Everything that I'm talking about will as always be linked down below. Lengthwise, it comes to just below the knees, and I have paired the dress with a pair of shoes that when I first showed them to you guys, <laughs> caused some controversy. Lots of people absolutely hated them, which I was shocked and stunned and appalled by. They are these gorgeous little, gorgeous in my opinion, cult Gaia swirly, oops, swirly gold, um, I call them my scroll shoes. I think they are lovely, and I love a bit of gold, gold and green. And I've stuck to the gold and green theme with my earrings. I've popped in the little Monica Vinader. This is too much gold and green, I don't know. I think it's lovely. Little Monica Vinader gold hoops with green dangly stone. So yeah, this is the outfit that I was going to wear tonight. Didn't want to miss out on showing it to you. If I was going to work, I'd probably have a little smaller handbag. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Such a beautiful silhouette, you can cinch it in around the waist, you could of course swap this out for your own belt, um, of course a straw belt, a brown leather belt would look gorgeous. Love it! Don't know when I'm going to wear it next, maybe tomorrow actually. Yeah, maybe tomorrow, I'm going for lunch with some girlfriends, and then I'm going out in the evening back in the Cotswolds with some Cotswolds friends. So, oh, possibilities are endless. But I'm going to get out of this now and into my yellow jumper again because <laughs> I'm just obsessed with it. And I've eat, just eaten the most random selection of snacks. Don't know why I just suddenly had a need for food. <laughs> you know when you're having that bit of an energy slump, which I shouldn't be getting because my glucose levels should be fine based on what I've been eating today. But I snuffled 
a date and then I had some of more of the sage and walnut pesto pasta in the fridge so I ate like half the Tupperware of that and then I went to the treats drawer or the snack drawer and I found this I've no idea where these appeared from Charlie must have got them pep and lecker natural foods rosemary and hemp seed seed snacks you know sometimes when you're craving or desiring like crisps or something but you want something a bit more tastier more filling I think these are a really nice thing to have in the drawer. Definitely satisfying the craving. The ingredients are good as well. Nothing nasty in there. Yeah. So I'm going to stick a Sherlock podcast on in the background. And I'm going to start packing for Ibiza. I can't say Ibiza without doing like a little jiggle. Just showing my excitement. Hello my darlings, it's Josie from the future here. <laughs> I got so excited when I looked at the Hobbs website that I decided to order a few more pieces and I thought I would just slip this little styling section into the video. So here we are. I first of all want to share with you this beautiful yellow dress. I think the compliments on the yellow jumper really made me antennae aware of yellow and now I'm just lusting for more yellow pieces in my wardrobe. It's a very optimistic colour. I think this is a very easy kind of dress to wear for lovely summer events. It's just the most beautiful silhouette, as you can see around the bodice, and a very, very elegant length. I'm still thinking about Chelsea Flower Show outfits and also wedding guest outfits and holiday outfits. I'm definitely going <laughs> to take this on holiday with me. It's such a beautiful piece. Um, very well fitted, as you can see around the waist. Do we have pockets? No, we don't. It's a very streamlined silhouette. But ultra flattering if you do have a little bit of fake tan on the limbs, apply a little bit of the body bronzer to give you a bit of a glisten. Otherwise, it's a very simple silhouette and the colour does all the talking. So this is the first piece. I will leave all of these and the other bits that I've been wearing linked down below. Alrighty, next up we have got this geometric green and white dress. You may not be able to see, but there is a little bow around the waist. The fact that the pattern is so crazy, it's almost a bit of an optical illusion, but I love it. You can cinch it in whenever, wherever you want around the waist. Just using some sunnies to pull the hair back. This would be a really lovely workwear dress because it is essentially a shirt dress, just a very lovely one. Shirt style sleeves, shirt style collar, and we do have pockets in this one, so a fabulous silhouette. I must say it's a very long dress and I am not a very long person, so it does need a little bit of altering, I would say on me. And I think I'm around five, five. I am actually gonna measure myself so I can be a little bit more useful, but I think it needs a good four inches taken off for me personally, but it's a very simple bottom to the dress. So that's a fairly easy thing to do. But for glamorous work days, if you have got some important meetings, then it'd be lovely, a really gorgeous, smart summer dress. But equally, I can imagine so many of my friends wearing this on social occasions as well. It's just a little bit smarter, a little bit more professional, but a very beautiful, versatile dress. Giving a little close-up of the neckline. Really, really pretty. I think a lot of people would find this very flattering as well. The pattern is quite discombobulating but um yeah very very flattering little number up next is this absolute beauty i can see this being such a popular dress for royal ascot for wimbledon for loads and loads of different summer events i saw this on the hobbs instagram and instantly had to add it to my basket it's got a very feminine little um kind of silhouette up here a very delicate neckline with these little bows you've got really sweet little raised poof shoulders and a v-neck and of course this gorgeous floral pattern. You could take this to the tailor and cinch it in so it fits you perfectly. I would say it's got a little bit about an inch too much fabric for me and then again at the bottom the material is absolutely stunning. The way that this floats is so beautiful. Another potential for the Chelsea Flower Show and I love that it's ombre pink going into white down at the bottom. I feel like Hobbs are just having the best season right now. And then finally, my darlings, from this little bonus haul, and then we will go back to real time, we have this beautiful blue and white striped dress, which is just so pretty and gorgeous. I think I'm gonna leave this on for the rest of the day, in the day that I'm living in right now. It <laughs> really reminds me 
of the dress that Kate Middleton wore when she emerged from hospital after having Prince George. <laughs> Does anyone else remember that? And um, I'll pop a photo of that moment here. Fun fact, I was actually at the Lindo wing that day. Um, I came rushing into London from Gloucester where my brother had just had his first baby boy and um, my, my nephew was born minutes before Prince George and then two days later when Kate came out I was getting my trainers to Paddington I was like I'm gonna go I'm gonna be there I think I was interviewed on Italian news anyway gorgeous dress beautiful pleats beautiful shirt style at the top another gorgeous bow around the waist perfect for smart beautiful elegant ladylike occasions oh I love it so much I do feel regal and I predict if she hasn't worn it yet and Kate Middleton will be buying this <laughs> and probably wearing it to Chelsea Flower Show. We shall see, but I love it. And as I mentioned, I'll leave all of these fabulous Hobbs bits linked down below my darlings. Okay, I've got my fuel. I've just made myself a nice chai latte for the afternoon. And I'm gonna have the Sheer Lux podcast on in the background on my iPad. Uh, oh, it's a little bit messy in here. It's not too bad. A few net porter returns, some bits that I've been shooting today. Anyway, I'm gonna get my suitcase out and begin packing for Ibiza. Cue the time lapse. Okay, my darlings, I have started to put together some outfits. To be honest, I'm not sure that I need that many more, but I need uh, things like shorts and shirts as well that I haven't grabbed yet. I've got a feeling it's not gonna be mega warm in the evenings, so I have chosen a few long sleeve pieces. To be honest, I am so happy with my holiday wardrobe. There are dresses here that I have purchased. Um, like last year, the year before, and I just love them so much and they really remind me of holidays and good memories and I don't feel the need to, you know, only take and bring new stuff with me. So a lot of repeats here that you'll be very familiar with. So, um, this dress, I can't remember where it's from. I've hung it up wrong way round. Oh, it's Colt Gaia. I love how that dress looks, really beautiful. It will need ironing when we get there. This is one that I bought ahead of our last Maldives trip. Is it Anarch? It's a really nice beach throwover, perfect cinched in with a belt. Erez, this is a very elegant one, just a nice white cover up, fantastic for going down for breakfast and things like that. This will forever remind me of Freddie and I in Palm Beach. Love the photos that we took um, in this at Palm Beach. It is a Zimmerman. Great for evenings, I think, because it's long sleeve. And then this always comes with me on every holiday. It's just the easiest little linen slip dress from the White Company. Slip dress, slight little tie shoulder dress, very casual. I thought this new one from Misa Los Angeles could come with me. It is smocked, so very comfortable. My um, my newest Zimmerman dress, which, oh, sugar, which is just absolutely, oh, for goodness sake, I'm having a nightmare, a nightmare, I tell you. Yes, my newest Zimmerman dress, this one with the pansies, because it's gorgeous. My lovely new Reformation dress, did I get this from Farfetch, I think? Zimmerman, I'm so excited to wear this, it's gorgeous. And then this one from Leo Lynn, can't wait to um, wear that as well, absolutely gorgeous. And of course I'll be taking the Hobbs dress that I just showed you, and I think the Hobbs basket bag will be my travel bag. Yes, I think that'll be absolutely perfect for all my travelling essentials. I've pulled out this little mirror that I got from Amazon, I'll leave it linked down below. Very handy because it folds up, you've got a mirror no matter where you are, and it illuminates. And there's a magnifying mirror, and it shuts so it's always protected. So that's great. I've got my Vanina Beirut bag. This one you might remember from previous trips. My new Hunza G, my new lovely floral, what do you call it? Beach cover up. These Menebi sandals are amazing because 
especially the hotel that we're staying at, a lot of stone floors, stone, st stone steps, and I remember they're not very grippy, and these are very grippy, unlike the Hermes Oran sandals, they are the least grippy sandals in the whole world. A couple of pairs of heels, Valentino and Aquazura, Valentino sandals, Chloe sandals, and the most ridiculously bougie thing in the world, my Valentino uh, jelly shoes, in case we go swimming anywhere that's a little bit rocky. So, that's where we are at so far. I'm probably not going to pack these yet because I think they'll just get a little bit squished. So I might just leave them hung up there for, um, for the weekend. But I'm going to pack the other essentials now, like underwear, toiletries, um, swimwear of course. So I'm going to get cracking with that while continuing to listen to my podcasts. My goodness, it's nearly 7pm now. <laughs> I just got very carried away doing a little bit of um, organising up in the dressing room. I don't know why I pointed the camera at the clock then <laughs> instead of at my face. Um, yes, just spent the last couple of hours doing a bit of packing and then I also, I don't know why, but started to have a clear out of my underwear and also of my workout clothing. So it feels like it's been a very productive few hours for Charlie as well. He has been planting a lot of the roses um, and now we are just starting to chill out a little bit and think about dinner. I think we're going to do a nice veggie pasta for our dinner this evening. We've got a box of, um, or we've got a sauce from Nonna Tonda. Lamb shoulder, mint, pea and pecorino romano. Our favourite pasta is this rigatoni from Lina Stores. Very, very nice. And it looks like he's planning on adding some of the tomato and olive sauce from Dalesford. Some pine nuts and we've got some parmesan. Now, oh my gosh, I have to say, by the way, this Joe Loves candle is the best smell in the entire world. The entire kitchen smells heavenly. Let me take you out here because it has become a glorious evening. Oh, how beautiful. It's my dream evening. Oh, the wisteria is starting to look amazing. We've got flower and foliage. Gorgeous. Listen to the bird song. Gosh, I can't wait for the border to just get a little bit more colourful, everything to get a little bit bigger. I think I'm just going to sit out here for the next 20 minutes or so and enjoy this evening sunshine. <laughs> Well, this is a glorious way to spend the evening. I've just been sitting here with my boys, having a look through this book here, which was very kindly sent along with some seed to skin um, skincare goodies, which are created at a, at a beautiful hotel, which I'm desperate to go to called Il Borgo in Tuscany. So they sent over this lovely uh, book. It's got some beautiful recipes in here and lots of really classic Italian um, tips, even just like how to boil pasta few things that I've picked up from the intro pages. Now I've just gone inside and what I like to do is snip up post-it notes so they're sticky up at the top into these little bookmarks and bookmark pages that I think I'd like to create the recipes. This is so simple but I know that we're going to have so many broad beans in the garden very soon so um, I'm saving down these broad bean recipes. I'm very glad that Charlie is inside cooking pasta right now because otherwise I mean, my mouth is watering reading this book and um, I'd be very tempted to be snacking all the way if I didn't know that dinner was imminent. Now that is the sign of a very good cookbook. So many recipes in here that I'm very eager to try over the summer. And spring. Oh, please, Dexy. Have fun, but don't trample Mummy's herbaceous border. It's a mad hour. <laughs> oh. Yamarello.
Good morning my darlings, it's Saturday morning now, another absolutely glorious morning, clear blue skies from the second we woke up. I was actually awoken, well I was actually awoken by Dickie howling, um, but then noticed sunlight pouring in through the gaps in our very holy shutters. So today I'm heading into London in about an hour. I'm going to meet Sophie, Vicky and Hannah. We're going for a lovely luncheon together. I think we're going to a place called The Harry, which has got a gorgeous garden terrace. So I'm really glad it's a beautiful day. But before that, I am going to get changed in something a little bit smarter to meet the girls. But um, I've just popped on this dress, which I got from Amazon last year sage green striped dress. It's really nice for fairly bright and sunny mornings doing house errands. It's a really lovely dress actually. Um, I could wear this into town to meet the girls but <laughs> I'm gonna get changed. And then I've styled it with again Amazon raffia belt and Amazon um, little mules. So there we go. I'm just doing a little bit of flower maintenance, <laughs> that's what I call it. Um, essentially just going around the house and getting all the old blooms, throwing them away, refreshing the water on ones which aren't ready to be thrown out yet, ones which still look fresh, changing the water, snipping the stems. It's a nice weekend job to do, so I'm doing that while doing a few loads of washing and then heading into London shortly. I put on a lip liner which is maybe a little bit too dark for me, but I am so happy with how my skin is looking at the moment. I really hope it stays like this for the wedding, I shouldn't keep saying that because it will probably jinx me, but yes, skincare updates, I'm, I feel like I'm just peppering them throughout the vlog. Uh, and of course I had the hydrofacial five days ago now. And I think it really makes a difference. And of course, my skin and me in the evenings for that active, active skincare. SPF, vitamin C. I never skip any of those steps. Very, very important. Who's that arriving? Oh, it's my mother. <laughs> this set of flowers in the entrance hall is doing so well. They must be about a week old now. Some of the cow parsley is looking a bit sad and droopy, but with a drink of water. It should perk up. These little bunny rabbits are such sun worshippers. You having a nice time in the sunshine, my filet? My Dexy? Such lovely little boys you are. Lovely. Mmm. Hello, Dexy. I'm just going to sit out here in the sunshine with my boys and take my wild nutrition. Daily essentials with my omegas, my vitamin D, getting my real life vitamin D, or is that vitamin C? No, vitamin D. <laughs> and don't forget about my discount code for wild nutrition, it's a very good one. Best supplements in the game. Okay, my darlings, made it to the station. Sunglasses marks, ahoy there! Oh, <laughs> we're gonna have to blend that out later. I am taking a big risk today because I'm heading into London without a coat. <laughs> Very premature and as you can see a lot of skin on show. But it's blue skies and I just want I want the goodness of the sun on my skin. It's not it's not cold. I just hope there's not gonna be too much air con on the train. So I've got on this lovely dress which you might remember from the video a couple of weeks ago now um, when I did a little Netan net, net <laughs> Porter unboxing. It's the Three Graces London one. Beautiful embroidery, Lilla shortened the straps for me, which is super. And of course, my lovely big Hobbs raff, raff, raffia straw bag is coming with me and the brightest ocean bottle in the world. Okay, let's go and get the train. Not gonna take my perfume with me. Cedar Violet by Erin. Actually, I will take it with me because it'll just get too hot if I leave it in the car and it'll go off. Let's go.
again my darlings oh my goodness me it is so sunny oh it's just become the most gorgeous day i'm back in the car back in the cotswolds that was just the most glorious lunch with the girls we had so much to catch up on since i'd last seen hannah she got engaged which is such amazing news and um hadn't seen soph in like a year i think so we had a lot to catch up on just the most glorious lunch and that that place the garden terrace at the harry hotel which is in belgravia so amazing location um for chelsea chelsea flower show such a little gem we had the entire terrace to ourselves it's not huge for the majority of the time that we were there it was amazing so love to know that i can just do a little day trip a little luncheon ladies luncheon into uh, London and back in a day. It's just quarter past six now and I'm actually heading to the pit kitchen. Charlie's cousin and his wife are staying in Strawtop this weekend and um, it's a glorious afternoon so I think we're meeting them for dinner in the pit kitchen. We're meeting Ben there as well but I don't know if Robin's gonna be there. I hope she is. That'll be lovely but it's half an hour drive so I'm gonna get cracking and I will see you guys there.